Hey guys, it's Aiden. What's going on? Um, I don't have the best clarity for this video. I'm working on it. Still haven't fu uh, fully set up the camera. But I figured I would make a video on binding. So what we're going to do right now is show you how to take a binder off. I can't show you how to put a binder on because more body parts have to be shown for that one. I'm not really sure I want to go there. But let's do this. So here we go. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys up a little bit more. That should be good. Okay. So I'll wear lots of layers, as you guys can tell. White t-shirts. Okay, so this is my cover binder. Um, this is a binding shirt. Not thick at all, but definitely adds to shaping and things like that. So we're gonna get rid of this. Okay. This is the actual binder that I wear on almost daily basis. Uh, pretty cool thing. Uh, um, not very thin or thick in general. Uh, if we can go down a little bit. Uh, it's just this device. You can still see a little bit around it. But it's a pretty cool thing. So we're going to move up a little bit now. And take it off. So, taking off the binder is very difficult, so we're going to kind of go over how it's done. First, you want to pull it over itself. If you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here, it's layered. You pull it over itself, and what you're going to do is you're going to pull it over your head. So, kind of simple motion. You're going to pull it up as high as you can, push out, and put one elbow in. And pull above your head like that. After that, you then just take the other one and pull up. Um, after I take that off, I always have um, an ace bandage on. Very simple. That you just unwrap like so, and you'd be completely unbound at that point. Um, Binding's not the worst thing in the world. It really could be so much worse. Um, but, can't really stand doing it that much longer. Um, to be completely honest, I don't mind binding so much as the fact that it hurts. Like, as you guys saw, I kind of double bind and use an ace bandage, which is really dangerous. I don't recommend it for anybody. But, um, for me, I don't really care. But anyway, um, so I do all that, and I also have, um, I have cuts all over my back and all over my chest that are going to scar, because I really don't care how much pain I'm in as long as it looks good, which is how most trans guys act. I can't get my neck. Um, hey, one second. Yeah? 